it's just the structure. We're going to cover the function now. <clears throat> Simply, what are the um, lobes of the big brain? So cerebrum versus cerebellum. Cerebellum, I think tiny, petite, little bella. So the little brain found on the backside and the underside of the big brain is called the cerebellum. That's for balance, coordination, and a lot of times proprioception. The ability to monitor without having to think about it. Cerebrum, on the other hand, is the big brain. He does all the major thinking. So there's the forebrain, there's the temporal, there's the parietal, there's the occipital, and then there's the insula on the inside. We'll talk about that one later. Right now, we'll do the, the four big ones. The forebrain. How do we remember that? Well, just remember, um, there was, if, you, if some of you have taken psychology, maybe in high school or even in college, there was a video talking about um, a railroad road worker. And one of the spikes had actually shot through here and pierced the forebrain. So his personality changed. He wasn't um, inhibited anymore. So what the forebrain does is it helps you with social norms, social context, your personality. It tells you when not to say something. But this person that had the spike run through his head, well, he lost that ability. And he just said whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. So he would swear, he would say whatever to anybody. So it's the personality. It's the one that tells you social norms, what to do and what not to do, social context. What about the parietal? So you're so sensitive to your parents telling you all the time that you didn't do well in school, you need to do well in school. You want to pry your brain open. Well, the parietal is for sensation, right? Um, what about the temporal? Well, temporal, it's right next to your ear, so just remember that it's associated with hearing. It's auditory. And then if you've ever um, gone skateboarding, snowboarding, something where you potentially fall off the board, I have, you fall off the board, the snowboard, and you bonk your head, the back of your head, and then all of a sudden you see stars. Why is it that you see stars when you bonk the back of your head? Well, the occipital lobe is associated with vision, so it's called the visual cortex. So one more time, parietal, you're too sensitive. Um, temporal, I can hear you, I can hear you. Um, frontal is your personality and social context and social norms. It's also where you associate movement and motor, motor skills. And then the occipital is for bonk vision. What about the cerebellum? That was for balance, coordination, unconscious proprioception. And let's do some easy stuff. 